Hi, this is Keith from Musetta Stone, and welcome to Gearhead. Today we have Dave from Dead King Effects. Um, thanks for coming out here. Hey, no worries. Thanks, guys. So, what made you interested in guitar effects, and what drove you to like making your own pedals rather than? buying like store-bought ones like big company ones sure um so i mean the essence of it is i'm really cheap <laughs> um i've always really been into electronic stuff you know i did uh i did computer science at school when i first started looking at effects you know i was really overwhelmed like the stuff out there was so expensive all the you know the kind of more the boutique stuff was so expensive and and uh some of the cheaper stuff just seemed a little more on the generic side and then a bassist friend of mine turned me on to a, a, a site a company I guess that they do these kits um, so you order a kit and it comes with everything you need right the the enclosure all the parts really good instructions and uh, so I just started off with that and in fact the first two kits I built are still on my board right now and then I uh, yeah so you know I just started making different circuits to see what stuff sounded like and it kind of all uh, sprung from there the company you know it just kind of sprung out of out of me putting around doing my stuff and uh, and people seeing it and 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 uh, had a few requests for, to do stuff and you know I really enjoy doing the graphic design part of it and and so it kind of just uh, uh, fell in that way naturally yeah. all right so your company specializes in custom pedals like you mentioned before um, what's the process of designing and creating a pedal look like I'm kind of curious about that sure so um, you know, let's say somebody comes in and they have an idea and they, and they, they really like the tone that somebody's getting, Jeff Beck or whoever, right? And, uh, and so, so often what I'll do is I'll go and I'll, I'll look and I'll, you know, I'll look, there's tons of good stuff on the internet out there, I'll see, okay, what, what is Jeff Beck using, right? Um, and we'll often get a, a start from there. And, and, and we'll find, you know, um, find a circuit online generally for, for, for what it is that maybe Jeff Speck's using. So maybe he's using a tube screamer, let's say, right? Mm -hmm. So find the tube screamer circuit online, pour over that circuit till I understand it inside and out. I'll often breadboard it up so I've got a little uh, thingamer at home that uh, I can just stick the parts into and get it working, make sure it's going to work. Um, and then from there, uh, I'll, I'll get it on a board that's going to work to fit in the, in the pedal, right? So, uh, um, so someone like me could just come up to you and be like, hey Dave, I want you to make this pedal for me or like, you know, design in the outer shell of like how to design my head and whatnot. Like I can just come up to you and you'll be like, yeah, well, we can do that. Yeah, absolutely. That's the stuff I like doing best for sure. And you know, not everything is achievable or, pr or maybe practical, right? I had a guy come to me the other day, he wanted an, an acoustic simulator. And, and when I sat down and looked at it, it was kind of like, well, yeah, I could do that, but the, the the cost and the time that was going to go into it, it was more worthwhile to find a good one that was kind of already out there. I try and keep things low, prices as low as possible. That's one of the things that, that uh, really got me started is, is, you know, how expansive some of the boutique stuff was out there. And so I really try and keep that, that um, uh, as a point. So what are we looking here today? I've got five pedals. I've got... Um, uh, 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 vintage reproduction fuzz face, so uh, uh, early 70s Hendrix era uh, reproduction fuzz face. He uses like you know I got some uh, nice transistors out of uh, Eastern Europe there, and they call them uh, new old stock, or so essentially they've been sitting on a shelf in a factory in Russia for the last 40 years, and somebody's dug them out and uh, selling them on the internet. And that's a great uh, Hendrix era fuzz. That in a wall, and you've got uh, Hendrix all over. Um, I've got um, uh, a really cool distortion, my favorite distortion, um, which I call the hand grenade distortion, um, which is like a, uh, it's a really versatile distortion. It's not a sledgehammer like some of the more modern stuff is, right? There's lots of range to the control. You can back off the gain a little bit and, and almost get down into more overdrive kind of territory. Nice. Um, I've got something that I'm really pr proud of here, and this is kind of like it's not finished up yet in terms of the painting and everything, but um, I found online an old schematic from an old pedal called the Fender Blender, and it's kind of like an octave fuzz. Okay. Um, and so I took that and I, and I breadboarded it up and I, and I tweaked it around a little bit, 
and uh, finally got something that's working pretty good here. So um, it, it's like, uh, it is a sledgehammer. <laughs> um, it's like a smashing pumpkins, wall of sound kind of fuzz. It's, yeah. it's pretty aggressive, it's pretty awesome. Um, I've got a reverb in a box there, um, which I really like. I've got reverb on my amp, but uh, it's not on a foot switch. Okay. And because we play covers and we're switching our sound so much, for me, I like to have a reverb on the floor. So it is kind of a digital uh, reverb, um, but um, sounds great to me. So I came up with a way of putting that um, feedback switch on a, on a momentary switch. So. Um, you can you can get some really kind of neat like swell stuff going on almost with that and then the last one is uh, uh my favorite booster so it's uh uh it's like a lead boost solo boost yep. um, i will stick it right at the end of the chain and it just slams the pre the preamp uh with with lots of decibels and um it'll you know if you're a guitarist playing in a band especially if you're in like a four piece or a five piece It'll um, really emphasize the kind of like treble and, and high mid frequencies and bring you right up out of the mix Excellent. Uh, for when you're doing your lead work. That sounds sweet. All right, sweet. So I guess we're at the point where we actually get to hear these beauties. Sounds good. All right, take it away, Dave. Thanks. All right, so flick my guitar playing on you guys. Uh, we'll start off with the fuzz face here. So this is a classic 70s era Hendrix fuzz face. Uh, think class and rock, classic rock, wailing tones. <laughs> aggressive it's really great for uh, uh, solo stuff on the high strings as well there's not much uh, cleaning that one up it's pretty much uh, uh, bite or, or not so on to our next little guy here is the hand grenade distortion this is my favorite distortion I uh, use it when I'm playing Weezer all the time. Uh, this is with the, the, the volume on my guitar all the way up. So as I bring that back a bit. So this thing is smashing wall of noise. Uh, I think smashing pumpkins. Uh, it's 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 pretty brutal. So uh, I'll play clean and then I'll hit the switch to put it on so you guys can really hear the yeah, hear the full on difference. <laughs> hear the high octave uh, of the octave part of the fuzz coming out of there right it's it's like uh, nasty and screaming and uh, it gets some pretty funky stuff going on if you play uh, play on the higher strings with that, like uh, you can get some crazy kind of almost reverse sounds out of it uh, it's also got this uh, bass boost feature or tone boost feature here so sustain for days too right I mean it'll just go and go and go so and then I got my reverb uh, reverb brick here and we're gonna try out the uh, the, the uh, feedback uh, foot switch here as well the swell uh, swell foot switch here as well <laughs> Switch here as well. I'm gonna switch up tunes here. I got that going 
it'll just go and go and go. It'll oscillate into crazy, crazy wall of noise stuff. <laughs> Awesome sounding pedals and everything. I'm really digging the sound. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. So, well, thanks a lot for coming. Hey, no worries. Thanks great. for having me. This was really fun. Yeah, so if um, any of you guys want to like make a pedal or even just talk to Dave about possibly getting a quote and everything, um, how can we reach you? For sure. So I've got a, I got a website up, uh, www.deadkingfx.com. Uh, I'm also on Facebook, Facebook slash Dead King Effects. Um, you can hit me up there. I have my email is Dave at DeadKingEffects.com. Um, if people have any questions or, or, or you know they, they got something that they in their head that they want to get, email me. Get let's get talking and, and we can figure that out. And if there are people out there who are interested in learning how to build uh, your own pedals, definitely get a hold of me. I can turn people onto a lot of good resources and. Uh, and